spectacular. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. being transported somewhere. Johnny Perez, Hi. welcome to the Lifestyle Family. Thank you for having me. I'm really excited today to be here. Yes, first episode. Now you're a broker with Compass. Yes. Um, how long have you been in the business? I've been in business for 18 years now. Wow, you look young and look good. Well, thank you. I try. <laughs> I try to keep up with the best of them. Um, I'm happy to say I'm entering my third decade of selling real estate. Wow, I'm sure time just seems like it's flying by for you. It has. When it's your passion and you love what you do, goes by like that. All right, well, it's a beautiful day in San Diego. Um, I'm not normally in this neighborhood, but I love the drive down here. Mm -hmm. It's incredible. Where exactly are we right now? So we're down in Chula Vista in a subdivision called East Lake. Okay. And yes, there is a lake. That's the first <laughs> question I always get. Yeah, is there a lake down there? Absolutely. So there is a lake down there. It's a really nice sought after community, which we've seen a lot of growth and development over the past 20 years. Wow. So I see a lot of new development. What does this community have to offer? So here today, we're actually out in Winding Walk community, okay. where we have a clubhouse. There's wow. multiple pools, Olympic size swimming, Ooh, pool, yeah. uh, exercise, and as well as the parks and all the trails that come along with the community. That's incredible. It sounds like it has a lot to offer, whether it be, you know, something warm or something hot. And the shopping center, I noticed, is also close by, right? Some yes. shopping? Yes, there's some shopping centers that are now up and running with the developments that are happening here. Uh, Millennia, Otay Ranch. Yes, so with all these amenities in the neighborhood, there's shopping close by. Um, if I wanted to grab something to eat, what would be a preference? Well, are you into Brazilian food? You know, I actually don't think I've tried Brazilian before. Really? Yeah. Wow. There's a really cool spot that just opened up, and I think you'd love it. All right, well, it's a recommendation of yours I'm willing to try. You think so? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to Novo Brazil. Yes. We're here today with Leonardo Bauer. Very nice, nice to meet I'm, you. I'm the general manager of Novo Brazil at Thai Ranch Mall. Smells amazing, looks incredible. Tell us about Novo and what it means to this community. What kind of people love coming here? Well, uh, we're basically a family environment. We love having the kids here, first of all. And then the parents eventually comes with the kids. So <laughs> <laughs> they love our playground. So they can come, sit down, enjoy our amazing food, and uh, having some of our famous kombuchas and beers, and while the kids are running around and having fun with other kids as well. Yeah, I don't think that's common, right? To come to a brewery and your kids can have a playground and play around in this place. So I'm sure families love the fact that they can get their beverages and their kids can have fun and get off the iPads and play with each other. Absolutely. Exactly. Yeah, and you yeah. also have all the games here, all the soccer yeah. or football. Yeah, we have arcades and uh, they love this place because it's different than other brewers. That was the uh, focus of the founders as we are family owned Brazilians and we love to have family around us. Now, let's talk about this amazing food here. I mean, it's, it's Brazilian infused with the flair. Tell us what we have here for lunch today. Well, uh, it starts with appetizers. We have our amazing mozzarella sticks. Then we have our best seller, the chicken wings, oh, which has a, right. a special Brazilian touch. <laughs> okay. Our French fries is very famous as well. A lot of people talk about. As well as the lunch special menu, we have the Brazilian skewer with picanha, the Brazilian's favorite beef. And it uh, comes with salad, rice, and farofa, Brazilian yuca flour. With a pint for lunch, it's only $14. We have uh, some vegan options here. The vegan burger, it's amazing. Some people, they even think it's uh, 
uh, real meat, but it's not. Mm. It's beyond meat. Oh. And the avocado salad has a, a, a protein from the avocado and the chips, banana chips uh, made from scratch here at Novo. This is all gluten-free here. Oh, okay. Nice. Not the chicken wings when it has the sauce on it. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, w uh, the, this plate without the farofa, the yucca flour, will be gluten-free as well. Wow. And I know you mentioned coming in here and that it was crowded. So when do people like coming oh, yeah. in? Is it during the weekdays? Is it on the weekends? At night? I mean, the other night I came in here, it was crazy. I was like, Leo, can I get five minutes of your time? And he was like running and shaking and baking back there in the kitchen. <laughs> it was great. Yeah, usually Thursday nights, Friday, Saturday, all day, and Sundays, lunchtime through evening are uh, our busiest uh, time always. But with the SDSU Lakers game, we get packed on Tuesday nights, Wednesdays as well. So basically... And this is a great, huge location that you have here. Yeah. So you have the roll-up doors, you have the big screen TVs. I mean, and, and you even had a, a mural just done too of Kobe, right? Yeah. That was just done by a local yeah. artist. So many people are coming here just to take pictures and uh, see the Kobe mural over here made by a Brazilian artist, Gabriel Toscano. He drove from LA and he was a big fan of Kobe as well. Yeah, it sounds like you guys are really involved in the community and what it has to offer with all this family and friends. I know the drinks. I heard the kombucha is delicious. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the watermelon mint is uh, the best seller overall. Okay. And uh, we have a beer made special for the city of Chula Vista, oh, wow. which is the top number one best seller. Our kombuchas are uh, vegan, gluten-free, wow. very wow, healthy. That's really healthy, yeah. gluten-free. And it's, how many beers on tap total? We have 60 taps, but beers is 36. Nice. Another six hard kombuchas and three non-alcoholic kombuchas. And we have three hard seltzers, crystal grapefruit, blue lime, and the best seller on the hard seltzer is the pink mango. Okay. Very refreshing. Have to try those. Yeah. <laughs> we start a couple weeks ago with the new cocktails we make with the Beyond the Spirits, which is a fermented uh, sugar cane alcohol. And uh, we make a very famous Brazilian cocktail called Caipirinha, as the same as uh, pina, pina Colada and the uh, Moscow Mule. What is that on the mascot of the logo? <laughs> it looks so incredible. <laughs> well, this is one of the um, most exotic birds in Brazil called oh. the toucan. Okay. And uh, you can see we have a, a painted on the wall as well. Yes, yes. It, okay. Yeah. And it's very colorful bird. Yeah, that, and the place is just the same. It's yes. so colorful, so bright, so lovely. I feel really inspired about the Brazilian inspired food. Now, I want to say that this is delicious, but maybe you can teach us how to say like oh, it in Portuguese. Like Portuguese or something, right? Can yeah. you do yeah, that? Yeah, we'll say isto é muito bom. Easter muito bom. Muito bom. Muito, muito bom. bom. Yeah. Easter muito bom. I'm going to hit this mozzarella Let's stick. Let's do it. Thank you so much for having us. My pleasure. <laughs> Thank you, guys. some ice cream. Well, I'm looking for the dry cleaning. Well, you're at Ann's dry cleaning, that's for sure. So uh, this is some dry cleaning <laughs> with a difference. Okay, I think you're a little less frazzled than I. I want what you're having. Yeah, well, come on over and let's uh, let's try a flavor. Eric, can you help us out? If I may start you off with a palate cleanser. This is a lime and ginger sorbet. It's been a day, so I'll take a palate cleanser. Lovely. Now, you guys have two options, right? You have vegan options, so you have ice cream and sorbet? That's correct. We have some like non-dairy options, more of like a sorbet Ooh, texture. I'll Would you like sorbet. to go into those? Yes. Good thing you still Although your palate cleanser is pretty right. delicious. Really it's good. not it's on the really menu, good. you're welcome to order it. <laughs> um, if I may go into our raspberry rose water, and I can take that. Oh, well, this is here. fun. I also have a strawberry ginger for you, also a sorbet. I'll take them all day. That sounds delicious. So this is like a light strawberry uh, sorbet. You get some texture from the strawberry seeds and a slight kick of ginger in the middle. Okay, so this place is pretty cool. Came in for dry cleaning. I think we need to have a conversation. I think we do, <laughs> yeah, let's do it. And the famous words over here, Ricardo, you have some explaining to do because I came in <laughs> for dry cleaning, did not expect ice cream. So how did this get started? It happens all the time. <laughs> so Ans Dry Cleaning was here for about 10 years before we moved into the space. Um, we decided to pay homage to the history 
um, that's here on Adams Avenue. So we kept the name, we kept the theme, played with it as much as possible. You'll see all of our flavors um, are named after articles of clothing or different fabrics. Um, you're not the only one to bring track cleaning. <laughs> like even the tables, right? The harmony yeah. boards, the napkin holders are irons. It I, has I mean, that speakeasy it. kind of vibe. That's yeah. what I was gonna exactly. say. It feels like a speakeasy because from the outside you cannot tell, but this is just such a cool experience as well as delicious ice cream. Well, but yeah, when you come in, you're welcome to try um, a little bit of everything. We have a rotating menu of seven flavors, um, all named after fabrics. We start you with a palate cleanser. From there, you're welcome to try each and every one and see what you're really into. It's like a flight of drinks, <laughs> exactly. right? But instead, a bunch of different samples here. I love it. This is, so what are some of your most popular Definitely the items? most popular flavor is our cotton. It's a rice, milk, and cinnamon gelato, kind of our take on a horchata. It tastes like the milk after bowl of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Oh, oh my gosh, <laughs> yes. I thought the olive oil flavor was delicious. Definitely. Right? That was one of our uh, little more unique flavors. Yep. Um, that is an olive oil base with some infused rosemary. Um, tastes like a focaccia bread. A little bit of salt on top goes a long way. Gotta try it. So Jesse, how did you find out about this place? Because it's pretty tucked away, right? Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> so I love Tajima next door for some really good ramen. And there was many times I came here later at night passing by and I thought it was a dry cleaning spot. But it smelled like waffle cones. One day I saw a long line out, I was hooked. I've been coming here ever since. <laughs> and this is such a popular street. I mean, Adams Avenue has everything. It's famous street. Yeah, Adams Avenue is super walkable. There's a lot of like awesome local businesses. Um, Hawthorne Coffee right next door. We do a lot of collaborations with them. We use their espresso, their cold brew and our gelatos. Um, as well as like Jackie's Jams is a local jam Ooh. company. We use them in a lot of our stuff. Um, and also Sugar Mama Caramels. Um, she does some lovely work like that we it. love to add in our little club. community love. love. Exactly, I love that. Yeah. Yeah. The for yourself. partnership, the yes. collaboration, and it's it's no wonder, right? You guys were just honored by USA Today for being yep. one of the top, top 10. ten ice cream parlors in the country. That's correct. Yeah, I feel honored to be here. I'm glad I tried to bring my dry cleaning. Here. That's why there's a line out the door, right? Don't figure. Right. Yeah. Well, it's been a pleasure. I'm still a little frazzled. I'm happy that I had some ice cream, so I think I'm going to try a little coffee next door and maybe. Get the mix and mingle of the two. Let's wake you up. <laughs> Sounds lovely. Coffee in the morning, ice cream at night. Make sure the kitchen's clean, then we turn out the light. Hey guys. Hi. Hey. How's it going? Well, we were just next door, and I hear you have a mean affogato. Looks oh, yeah. like I have half the equation, and we something got the tells rest me. For you. <laughs> you got the we, other half. Yeah, we love these guys at Ann's. You know, we always have people coming back and forth with dry cleaning for the Ann's. I still haven't done still the dry cleaning. <laughs> That looks amazing. Oh my gosh, it's is it delicious. Yes. So, so tell us about the collaboration and tell us about Hawthorne Coffee. Hawthorne's been here a little over four years and we were super pumped when Anne's came in. Um, they obviously make amazing stuff and it was like right off the bat, it was an instant collaboration. We, we pulled gallons of espresso for them and they just play with it and they make something really cool out of it. And then obviously you can bring your you your can ice cream, bring, bring your, your gelato avocado over. <laughs> and your dry cleaning, it's all well yeah, done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when we got here, it was a little sleepy on this end of Adams, and since... Since, I mean, the, since the caffeine and yeah, the coffee are exactly, waking it up. I guess so. <laughs> um, yeah, we have five or six restaurants that have been, that are younger than us. It's just it's such a great corner. I've been in uh, hospitality in San Diego for about 15 years, working for different companies, um, bar and restaurant companies. We're a hospitality company first, but I just fell in love with coffee. Mm. Um, we recently started a roasting company. It's called Compa Coffee Roasters. So we're roasting, sourcing beans. We bring the craft to it, but on top of that, just the focus on hospitality is number one for us. Yeah, and the quality of the coffee, right? Yeah, yeah that's pretty good. Can't <laughs> deny that. Yeah. So where are you sourcing your beans from now? We have coffees from Uganda, Ethiopia. We have a direct relationship with a farmer in El Salvador right now. Colombia, Honduras, just kind of everywhere. Wow. We work with a, a few importers and we directly import ourselves with a few farms. So it's been really fun to take that on as a new adventure. And you're very popular. I mean, it's hopping in there. Yeah, yeah it's fun. It's right? busy. Absolutely. We are launching a new food program right now. So we did That's toast awesome. for the last couple of years. We're kind of upping out a little bit right now. So we're going to have waffles made in house. Oh, and wow. 
We're gonna do some good paninis, different stuff like that. So just trying to get that full experience, coffee and everything that comes with it. I love it. That's it's great. definitely an asset to the neighborhood, that's for sure. Now you can We're do happy coffee to be here. with waffles, right? Absolutely. <laughs> and top and it, and, ice and top it so a la mode, good. right? <laughs> yeah, do you guys have any plans for opening other locations as well? We do. We have a space in mind, and we're kind of working through the last steps of getting that going. Look yeah. for it. Well, Congratulations. Uh, coming. Yeah. Adams is a great start because we were saying with Anne's dry cleaning that this is such a popular street, and I love the community vibe that everybody's collaborating with, with each other. Absolutely, yeah. We're here to, you know, we're here to support each other. We're all small businesses. We're all doing a great job in this town. It's really nice to have all these people around that are focused on the craft of doing everything that they're doing. It's fantastic. Yeah, well, we're lucky to have you because a lot of locals hit this spot and they enjoy it. Yeah, Well, absolutely. now I'm just going to stumble upon it with my dry cleaning just as an excuse to have some coffee and gelato. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Still haven't got it done, by the way. <laughs> <laughs>。Garrett, great to see you guys again. So good to see you, you Amanda. Too. Yeah, thanks for joining me down here in Little Italy, one of my favorite spots. I appreciate you making the trip. We're happy to. How oh, are yeah. you guys doing? Honestly, great, but everybody's sick, so I'm really just trying to stay healthy. Yeah, market's busy right now, so work is just super stressful. That's kind of where I'm at, stressed. S stressed, avoid being sick. I think I have just the remedy for you guys. April, so good to see you again. I brought you some people to meet. I have Samantha yeah, and Garrett here with the Gaylord Hansen team, um, bringing you with a ton of issues. Oh, we yeah. gotta relieve some stress. Oh and yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Busiest market. Yeah. We, we have been in for a while, so I hear you're gonna be helping us today with relieving some stress and possibly building our immune system up. Uh, yeah. Can you tell us about it? Yeah, we're great at that. Um, we are a holistic pharmacy here. So we have traditional medications and also a lot of more natural approaches to health. We have an herbalist on, or a few herbalists on staff who actually uh, sit down and do custom blends. So that's one of our uh, popular really things cool. to do. And um, so How does that work when someone comes in for a custom blend? What yeah. does that look like? Yeah, so we have a herbacy in the back and we do um, a private consultation for 60 minutes with our herbalist and we go through a full background um, and come up with a customized plan. Um, including a custom herbal blend, if that is what um, basically the practitioner decides is appropriate. Um, also, we can use other things we already have on the shelf as well. So, you know, whether it be adding in probiotics or other things for digestion. Mm -hmm. um, so it's not just using herbs, um, but uh, that's a big component since we do have herbalists here. Gotcha. So you say you're a new kind of pharmacy, so is that what differentiates you guys from the other pharmacies out there? It's one of the big differ differentiators is that we're so focused on, you know, more natural things in combination with medication. So, um, you know, people call us either a holistic or integrative pharmacy. So we really believe that we're lucky to live in a time where we have both the benefit of traditional pharmaceuticals and more natural things. And so, um, you know, when you come to Remedy, one of the main things you'll notice is that you have more options and someone who's there to educate you, a highly trained pharmacist who know both sides, herbalists that are really focused in, um, you know, the herbs. And um, so that would be one of our main differentiators. Obviously, another one is a beautiful place to be, mm -hmm. um, which, you know, I think a lot of the other big chain pharmacies, uh, people don't necessarily enjoy being there. Um, right. We have a warm, welcoming feel, and we're also really big about community. So we also, we also have community classes. We noticed that, like you mentioned, the environment super welcoming and warming, and we noticed your packaging is a little bit different too. So we're happy to be uh, the only pharmacy that actually offers biodegradable prescription vials. Wow. Um, I definitely hope that we're not the only one that does that in the future, mm -hmm. um, but we're really trying to bring in more sustainable practices to mm -hmm. pharmacy. I'm assuming you get a ton of walk-in clientele from your amazing location yeah, beautiful here. Beautiful corner location. Yeah, the <laughs> ambiance, just it's so inviting. But when you educate, are you reaching out to the community, are you doing seminars? What, what does that look like and, and how are you getting your name out there? Yeah, so since we're still pretty new, a lot of our the people find out about classes just from walking in and we let them know about our classes. We have an email list where we send out um, different classes we're announcing, workshops, um, and then lastly, our social media account too. I did bring these two in 
to help them with their issues, and I, I'm thinking you may have a remedy. So what, yes, what do you have in store? We do. Actually, I'll introduce you to our lead clinical herbalist, Anne, and I think she'll be helping you figure out a custom blend that'll meet all of your needs. All right. Okay, I'm awesome. excited. That's I'm ready. ready. Yeah. Let's, do it. Let's do it. Let's get them fixed. All right. cool room here we're in with you and um, you are actually the herbalist here at Remedy right? That's correct. So what is your role then? What what does that entail? Well I'm the more natural side of the store. I'm an herbalist and a nutritionist so because we're integrated we work together so my my strength and my experience is in herbal medicine and nutrition. Oh, that's awesome. amazing. So that's like the other side of it. So they have the, the pharmacy side and then the natural side. That's right. Okay. And, and you're gonna be making some formulas for us today. To I help am us absolutely. Out. So oh. we're in the consultation room, and normally, what are what do people expect when they come back here with you? Well, normally, what we do is an hour consultation, sixty minutes. It's very uh, specific about their health history, what they're coming in for, what their main complaint is, if you will, um, going into their background and their health background, and then figuring out specifically what they need, and then we end up with a a protocol, a suggested protocol. Oh, awesome. You say that's typically an hour long process? An hour long consult, oh, yeah. Wow. We're going to do a, an express one though today, right? Right. And th that's really cool. It's completely custom. So they can yes. come in and it's whatever they're going through. It's not something generic in a bottle. No. It's what their issues are and you help them get better. Very personalized, absolutely. Awesome. So Tell us a little bit about your background then. How do you know the proportions, the right yes. the mixtures, the amount? So, like that. yeah, I have a background in clinical herbal medicine, so I have studied Eastern and Western herbal medicine, and one of the things that I enjoy the most and one of the things that I love to do is to formulate. So I've learned individual herbs and how they work, um, their energy, and all the different, you know, like Ayurvedic medicine, um, Western, me Western herbs, and Chinese herbs, basically, and then I've learned how to combine them. For the specific person, so yeah, I can you know combine specifically for someone who comes in. So yeah, you're right. You can't pull them off the shelf like that. It is that. so cool. Yeah. And you're actually going to help us today with a custom blend based on Garrett's stress and an immunity need for me. Absolutely. Right. Okay. It's absolutely. So for instance, stress. I mean, it affects everything. It affects your immunity. It affects sleep. It affects your life and your hormone balance and everything. So. I'll put something together for you that'll help stabilize you better and help you to feel better. Well, that would be lovely, yeah, thank you. <laughs> and immunity, um, uh, we know that's extremely important and I'm going to help you with something that's going to protect you during the day and the night and they'll help you to just build your immune system to be a little stronger and more fortified so that you can be you know, more vital and not catch everything that comes around and be stronger. On the defense. Yourself. Yes, okay. on the defense, absolutely. All right, let's do it. Okay.